Hey guys, it's Seabrev. Welcome back to another episode of What Would Brev Do? Today we're going to be playing an entire Ranked Seasons game, talking through everything that I'm thinking all the way through. Um, here's the squad we're rocking with. It's a bunch of new TA4 guys that I like slash want to use a little bit more, as well as some of fan favorites or personal favorites uh, throughout my time over the last couple months. So we still got Schwarber, Vlad Jr., and Trey Turner in there just for fun. And we're going to be pitching with Pedro Martinez today. So this video isn't necessarily a guide to pitching with Pedro Martinez just because uh, even me, I still don't know all the ins and outs of pitching with him. He's uh, first time in the game this year, so I haven't used him in past years. And his pitch repertoire is a little interesting. I think he, he kind of have a high, has a high skill gap in regards to his repertoire um, because his off speed is like so much slower than his non-off speed, like up to 20 five miles an hour between his curveball and fastball so um, it's kind of been difficult for me to figure out where exactly to throw his off speed to make it not obvious right out of the hand that it is off speed so we'll be experimenting with you guys today um, I have read the comments uh, asking for a little bit higher gameplay uh, higher rated gameplay in these videos um, this accounts at 749 right now I've only played two games so far this season and one of them was the Maddox video that we just dropped a little while ago uh, but I am working on it. I have been grinding offline. Um, I have an account at 1050 rating right now, so I want to push it a little bit higher, get it around 1100, and uh, then we'll start posting some of those really high-rated gameplays for you guys that have been asking for that. So I'm working on it offline. Uh, just know that, but it's a, it's a bit of a grind, especially on an account that doesn't have all the cards. Um, that account doesn't currently have Jackie or Mookie. Um, or show hey it just has chipper and that's just because chipper is cheap now so uh, we're trying anyway Trey Turner leading off I usually like to look at my opponent's batting average if it's like really low I'll put the bunt defense on right away um, just to take that away from him because getting drag bunted to start the game off and giving up a single uh, to a guy with 99 speed always sucks um, if you're playing somewhere like Ship It or just in general somewhere where you can see the scoreboard, you can also look at like the ratio of hits to how many of their hits are singles. Uh, so if they have like 200 hits and like 30 extra base hits, you can kind of safely assume they're going to bunt. Anyway, that's a lot for just setting Trey Turner down to start the game. Uh, he was super early on that curveball, so we'll try to stick with the off speed so far. And you can tell just from those last two swings that he has taken, that his bat is super fast right now. So we're going to stick with the circle change and the curveball for now until he makes an adjustment. Uh, one pitch that I really like that I think is underrated, um, especially to try to catch people looking, I throw it with Verlander a lot. It's good with Maddox. Is this up and away circle change to righties. Um, sometimes you just catch them looking, and even if they're ready for it, it looks so much like a fastball out of the hand uh, that it's kind of hard to time up, especially the first time you've seen it uh, during the game. So I probably shouldn't have thrown a sinker here. I should stick to the game plan. Uh, luckily, he takes it. I'm a little concerned that he's going to slow his bat down right here, and Frank's a little scary. He, If he runs into one, it's obviously going to be gone. Yep, and he did slow his bat down, so that's what I was worried about. Maybe should have tried to play a step ahead of him. It's a good swing by him. I also could have thrown the circle change in a different spot than the one I've been spamming so far this game, and a uh, good adjustment by him. So these are the mind games we got to play. Um, I also think slider primary would be really good for Pedro as well just because it's right in the middle of his pitch speeds. Uh, like I said, I'm still learning how to pitch with this card. But you can see just how much slower uh, our opponent's bat is now. So now 0-2, I'm just going to go up and in and assume he's going to be late. And he was. So he tagged us on one pitch. He made one good swing. Unfortunately, we're down one nothing. Uh, that's the power of Frank Thomas. Pun intended. And now we get to face Super Fractor Jacob DeGrom. So I think I've hit against DeGrom quite a bit in these episodes so far this year. I can't quite remember. Uh, but in general, I've just hit against DeGrom so much over the last, you know, four months, as everyone has. So against DeGrom, uh, as always, patience is good. Again, it's a little different this year because you don't get rewarded as much for working the pitch count up since the uh, still have not fixed the stamina glitches. Uh, but against DeGrom, you know, general good rule of thumb is to just sit outlier fastball and adjust to the off speed if you see it out of the hand. If they get you with a two seam or a changeup or something, uh, then, you know, tip your cap. But 3-2 uh, here, I can't imagine he'll throw anything but an outlier here, especially since he doesn't know if I can hit it or not. And we just completely went to right field with our PCI. <laughs> 
Oh well. To him, it looks like a good swing. Plus, PCI feedback is bugged, so he might not know we took that bad of a swing. Um, so we'll actually try to use that information. To him, that looks like I just lined out to center field on a fastball. So he may, you know, stray away from that in future three-two counts. Uh, but mechanically, that was terrible from us. Obviously, we will try to do better. 0-2 now. He just threw a fastball here, so a typical tunnel would now be a slider at my feet. Yeah, it's actually a curveball. I'm trying to stay off of pitches inside tunnel right now, and if he throws a fastball and paints me, then tip your cap. There it was, but he threw it high. Uh, I'm still keeping with the same approach here. If it's kind of really far inside, I think I'm just taking. Ah, change up. Again, the PCI placement. <laughs> this is going to be a rough one, isn't it? Man, we weren't even on the ball. I'm surprised we didn't strike out twice. Good timing, though. Our timing's there. Now with the shift on, we're looking for stuff outside or in general just trying to work the count a little bit more with Schwerber up. Um, people do actually pitch outside a decent amount with DeGrom, especially with changeups. And if you find someone that's you know throws a bunch of two-seamers, those usually end up outside the lefties. So it's kind of what we're trying to do. There was outside, but... <laughs> That's what we were looking for. It was more middle than outside, but that's just crushed. Um, but really, we set ourselves up to look for that pitch because we had a plan going into that at bat. Uh, we don't want to swing at things inside, especially early in the count in that situation. So uh, we did get lucky that he hosed this one. And now that's twice that he's thrown a four-seamer down the middle that we have, you know, quotes, taken a good swing at. You know, the first one was terrible, but he doesn't really know that. Um, so moving forward... He is probably going to stay away from the four-seamer in, in, in big spots or, you know, spots where um, he kind of has to come in the zone. So we'll keep that in mind. We'll, kinda, we'll try to keep a slow bat in those situations moving forward. And that's just terrible from us. Uh, adjustment from Legend to Hall of Fame is really bad. So my apologies for that swing. And we're right back to work. We're going to start throwing some sliders. Try to figure out where his bat speed's at, and immediately he has slowed it down tremendously. So he's kind of over-adjusted at this point, so now we're trying to work the other way. I have a feeling he'll try to compensate here, so let's just bury a change up just to see. And his bat is still slow, actually. He was a little bit early on that, but, you know, that swing isn't early enough to turn on this fastball, so let's go up and in. Easy peasy, 99 miles an hour. And now we're right back to the slider because I don't know where his adjustment's going to be at. So this is really just a game of where's your opponent's bat speed. This is true of all pitchers, but uh, it seems even more drastic with, with Pedro because, like I said, the speed differentials are so wide. Um, I kind of want to work sinker here just in case he's ready for the fastball. Hopefully he doesn't just run his bat into it. He was still late. I'm actually going to throw a four-seamer low and in now. It's a little bit less punishing if he's ready for it than up and in. And he was late again. So we were just tracking bat speed, doing a good job, and right away we're back to the slider. If you're wondering why sometimes I'm throwing them high, um, it's good if your opponent's sitting fastball or if they're... Sometimes you will just run into opponents who just assume that a high tunnel is a fast pitch. Uh, so if the pitch comes in high, they just assume it's fast. Good swing by him. We got lucky there. Um, and this guy seems like a bit of a guesser, which is kind of the, the hardest guys to pitch to because you never know, really know where they're at. But anyway, yeah, high off speed can be good, uh, especially if you're playing somebody that just assumes high pitches are fast. So that's why we do that. Back to work here. Uh, we took an absolutely terrible swing at a changeup out of the zone to end the last inning. So um, I imagine he'll try to feature that again. As we move forward throughout this game, there was a changeup and two strikes. That one was inside, though. And really, we're just looking off speed here. I imagine with how we tagged a couple four seamers and how foolish we looked on the changeup that he may try to start pitching us backwards a little bit. There was a slider down the middle that we missed. That's okay. Decent timing on the swing. Just the PCI was off again. Four seamer in. We turned and burned on that, so there's no way he's going back to it. That would be moronic, or he would be in our heads. <laughs> so, uh, slowest bat ever right here, sitting off speed. And it is the change up right there. So that is beautiful hitting, man. When you throw 102 at someone's belt and they pull it foul, 
very rarely, unless you're playing someone that's mind gaming at a very high level, uh, are they going to go back to that pitch because it's on paper it's a disrespectful pitch, right? <laughs> I couldn't make it more obvious that I was ready for the fastball, so a normal player um, is going to go off speed after that because that is definitely a scary result. So we really set ourselves up with, for success there on that one. 0-2 again with Boggs. Again, we're trying to stay off of the inside tunnel. If he paints us with a two-seamer or something, tip your cap. We'll keep it in mind. Um, but if it looks like it's coming in here, we're just taking it because we can't trust ourselves to lay off a slider without thinking that ahead of time. Try to backdoor slider there. A couple of pitches away, which is interesting. That's not typically what I see with DeGrom, but maybe he's mind-gaming a bit. See there? Slider. Looked a bit inside. The only reason I laid off of that is because I told myself I would. Change up low. Good AB here from Boggs. And uh, now I think he might go fastball just because we just tagged a change up. He did go change up again. So that's an interesting pitch. I I can't quite remember if that J-Rod at bat was a 3-2 count or not. Because if, if J-Rod's was 2-2 or something, that makes sense. So that's on me for... Uh, we're not tracking that well. Here we have Vlad Jr., same deal as Schwarber, but from the other side, uh, we're really looking for pitches outside to try to beat the shift. Anything inside, we're trying to stay away from uh, until we have to swing at it early in the count. That pitch was a dot, so, you know, we take that. It's not really the most quality strike, and there we get the slider away. Again, our approach. Our approach in these ABs has all been determined ahead of time, and it has paid off really greatly so far we're, we're going up there with a plan every batter and uh we're getting pitches in the zone where we can execute that plan uh pitcher on deck here we have to be hyper aggressive with trey turner because if he gets to two outs pitcher on or pitcher up we probably aren't scoring so we're looking for anything in the zone here trying to put it in play good on him dot and a slider i wonder if he goes fastball now he did good dot a couple of really good spots we went back to it. We pulled it foul. So now we have mind games. I'm going to step out of the box because I don't know where he's going to go here. Um, last time he went off speed, again, it's the exact same situation. So I think I'll keep a slow bat again. He actually did the exact same thing. So that's interesting. No adjustment from him. Uh, again, we got the change up right after pulling uh, the four-seamer inside foul. So... Uh, I don't know what was correct there for him. That's a really tough spot for both of us. It's kind of a game theory spot uh, where we're trying to guess what the other person is going to do. Also, if you ever wonder why I don't bunt in these situations, um, it's because you bunt into more double plays than, you know, actually successful bunts in my experience. So uh, with our lineup construction and the fact that I have power leading off, you know, semi-power, Hannes Wagner, I'd rather just, you know, bite the bullet, take my strike out, and try to hit with Hannes instead of, you know, trying to lay down a bunt and button into a double play or something. So we'll see where he goes here. First pitch slider right down the middle. Um, not the first at bat this inning where he started us with a slider. Slider, sorry. So we'll keep that in mind. Slider four seam. I imagine he goes change up now. He did. It's low. Don't know what he's going to throw now. Slider down the middle and we swung over the top. Unfortunate, man. Bad PCI placement, you know. The mechanics aren't there this game, but um, that's a big pitch to miss. It sucks, but uh, our approach has been good, so what can you do? We could definitely be up more than one run, but it's a long game. So he's actually back to a fast bat now. That's surprising. I wonder if he's already pressing. Again, you can see, though, we're starting him with sliders because I don't know where his bat's at. This guy's very erratic with his bat speed. Uh, when he does make adjustments, they're extreme, which makes it especially hard with a guy like Pedro who has extreme speed differentials. So the slider is going to be our crutch early in the counts this game for sure. Uh, this is an exception because it's the pitcher. It is DeGrom, so we have to be a little bit careful. But um, typically people just sit fastball with their pitcher, so I try to spam off speed. But again, there's mind games going on constantly at the high levels. But yeah, slider is going to be our crutch. Um, just trying to figure out where he's at, at bat to at bat, because he's varying it wildly. And he takes the slider oppo to tie the game. So a couple of off-speed down and away that he's tagged us on. So a couple adjustments here. We're not going to get away from the slider. 
It's the right thing for us to do. Uh, but when we're throwing off speed early in the count, we're going to start throwing it inside and maybe up. Uh, since he has shown that he, at the very least, can slam that PCI down in a way and punish us. That was hung just a little bit. And we got lucky that stayed in. So he actually should be winning right now. Everything considered. But uh, we'll go right back to work at the dish. We'll see if he starts sliders to lefties too. No, he went four seam. So next time we get a righty up, I'm probably looking for pitch slider. See if he hangs it again. But we'll see what he does. Fastball and a changeup. Pretty good stuff there. If he throws that pitch again. We're just striking out looking again. Inside tunnels, we're taking them. And he dots us, so that's okay. Striking out looking is okay. Uh, now that we know he'll do that, he actually hasn't thrown a slider at our feet the entire game so far. Uh, maybe he wanted to set it up first, but uh, now we know. So we can protect a little bit more. We're not just going to assume they're going to paint a fastball with DeGrom right out the rip because most people will try to get you to chase that slider. So again, Schwarber shifted. We're looking outside couple of dots inside that's okay and now we are protecting the inside so if he throws a slider at his feet good on him and we're actually late on the outside pitch feels bad decent pitch from him first time he went outside that at bat and uh we go down strike out twice this inning not the best for momentum but it's a long game like i said Man, I am. Vinny? <laughs> I don't know. I Apparently, I can't control Vinny Castilla. Got lucky to foul that off. I don't know why I'm so jumpy with this card at the plate specifically. It's kind of weird. Good curve from him. Close enough where I got a swing at it, 0 2. And he gets a nice 1 2 3 bounce back there after tying the game. So, six innings to go, and it's uh, anybody's ball game so far. We're going to throw a slider high now. Again, see where his bat's at. It was pretty slow to end last inning. Um, we'll see if he keeps it that way. I want to throw it up, though, just in case he's sitting fastball. And obviously, he's already tagged us twice, low and away. So he had good timing on the slider there. So now we can work up or down. So let's go up first. He takes it, so clearly he didn't want to hit that. So we're just going to throw it again. It's definitely a weird take with Frank Thomas at the dish, so I just assume he's not looking for it. And we blow it right by him. So now let's set the tone. Let's throw it one more time. Let's establish that this is what we want to do this inning. And he's late again. He actually gives us an out for free there. I really just wanted to throw that pitch for show, and he gifted us an out, so that's huge. Um, and so now this is the bat where he should adjust. Uh, it should click in his mind that we've now thrown three four-seamers up and in in a row. Maybe he'll turn the dial up on his bat speed. He's actually still late. Man, this guy is hard to get a read on, dude. Just actually all over the place. I think he was early there. He was just early. Um, I can't go up and in here because if he makes a hard adjustment, it's going to get crushed. So we're just going to double up, see where he's at. Yeah, and he hard adjusted. So we predicted the adjustment there. Good pitching. And uh, let's not have an inning we had last inning at the dish. Looking slider here. He threw it off the plate. That's okay, though. He's, throw he's shown us a little bit of tendencies, um, a lot of sliders to start off righties. And a lot of second pitch four seamers I've been noticing as well. Mostly all of them for strikes. So these are opportunities we could look at moving forward in the game. Uh, but with no one on, no one out in the fourth, it's not really necessary that we try to punish these mistakes just yet. 3-1. Haven't gotten to a 3-1 count yet this game, so I'm going to take and see what he throws me. Also, a leadoff walk is always good. He did throw a slider right down the middle, so that tells us he's not going to walk us, which is pretty typical. Now I assume fastball. He actually did go change. Um... Kind of weird not to see a fastball there, although I guess he has had the most success with change-ups. Good tunnel there from him. We fight it off, um, and now this is hard. If he goes to that spot again, I'm inclined to take just in case it's a slider. We'll see what he does. It was a slider. I think he missed his spot. That was a little bit probably more middle than he wanted, and we just rip it up the middle for a single. Good stuff by J-Rod, man. Really like that card, dude. All right, what are we looking for here? First pitch slider again. He's now gone second pitch fastball after this every time, so we're sitting fastball. 
and we rip it in the gap. So this is actually, you know, we've only scored three runs so far. If I get this guy home, holy relay, that was actually way closer than it should have been. <laughs> uh, we've only scored three runs so far, but our approach is actually carrying us this game. We're, we're looking at the tendencies. We're going up there with a plan, and uh, he might actually go force him again here. Ah, good adjustment, man. I don't know how I got a check swing there. <laughs> That's a joke. Okay. But yeah, man, we picked up on several tendencies. First pitch slider to righties, and usually, you know, when he goes first pitch off speed, the second pitch is a forcing fastball. So that was the time for us to punish there. Wade Boggs up. 3-1, he went slider last time. Nice uh, nice mix up there with the forcing. And now this is probably a change. Slider. Nice. I put my PCI for change up. Um... If I was really locked in, I could have actually taken that pitch. And now we're in the same spot. Pitcher on deck, we kind of got to be a little aggro here. Um, I'm, I need better pitches than that, though, man. That's ridiculous. Throw me a hanging slider. That was not really hanging, but we were ready. <laughs> Trey Turner's a beast, and that's why we want to kind of be a little bit aggressive there, man. We give ourselves a chance to get that runner in from second base because like I said the first time it happened um, you know Pedro gets up two outs that runner on second doesn't do us is not going to score hardly ever uh, doesn't do us any good to get a Pedro up there uh, if we make it out it's really bad so we kind of want to just try to put the ball in play and you know test our luck maybe even with a bad swing we get a bloop single or something mixed in the inning so that's why we're a little bit more aggressive in those spots with the eight hole Pretty standard stuff. Uh, Taking till two strikes here. No real reason to swing early, especially when we got him on the ropes. We'll see what he comes with here. Change up again. So we were late. Um, that pitch is actually telling. Typically, people try to build confidence on pitches when the pitcher's up. I know that's what I do. So, um, And you get the most confidence by striking somebody out with a pitch. So it's kind of maybe a little bit thinking too deeply about it, but... Uh, uh, based on all the information we've seen so far, that kind of tells me he wants to throw change-ups in big spots. Sitting slider here again. Nice change-up. So good mix-up. Uh, ever since we crushed that uh, four-seamer in the gap, he has actually made some adjustments here, which is good on him. It means he's playing the mind games too, which is always good. Nice slider. So no four-seam yet. So this is if this was a typical backwards pitching, Sequence, he would now gas me up with an outlier. It was not. He just threw... Obviously, that was accidentally right down the middle, but three straight off-speed pitches. Um, this is Vlad Sr. throwing the ball in, so we'll stop at second. Obviously, you never want to make the last inning, the last out of an inning at third. Uh, and Vlad has the cannon of all cannon. All right, let's see if he goes to the same sequence we punished earlier. I am sitting fastball again. And there it is, man. Same exact sequence that Wade Boggs saw. Um, no adjustment from him. Even if we whiff at an off-speed pitch there, uh, sitting fastball, it's okay because it'll just be 0-2. It's not like we strike out. So that is the perfect time to pounce. Um, this guy has definitely had some replicated tendencies throughout this game that we have taken advantage hugely. So really, this actually turned into a really good game at the plate. You can see the, this is DeGrom's 93rd pitch, and we're in the fourth inning. If this was previous years, he would actually you know, already be in the yellow energy pretty much, so that would be massive. That was right down the middle, so obviously I'm going to swing at that. Schwarber's hit two moonshots, and maybe the lack of confidence is just making him miss his spots here, dude. He's giving us a lot of hittable pitches. Let's not flail it off speed off the plate with Vinny this time. Sitting slider again, though. Ah, good spot for it. All right, let's hit fastball again. Let's see if he goes back to the sequence, man. Maybe he's rattled and just going to what he knows. And he did. We were a little bit early on it, though. What a play over there to cut that off, get a good throw on it. So Vinny, Vinny Casti is having a rough game. It's our fault. Um, but we were still right on the fastball. We were just early on it. He also put it in a good spot. So you see I went sinker off the plate there. Um, we kind of been using the slider as our baseline, and he crushed the slider a couple times. He's also swung and missed with good timing on sliders. 
So now I'm trying to work the sinker a little bit. Uh, sinker in on the hands is good if you think your opponent's sitting fastball, but you have to make sure it's off the plate because if it's on the plate and they crush it, you know, tough look. He did have good timing on the sinker, though, which is, you know, may indicate that he might have a hard time catching up to the 99. Go low and away here just in case he's sitting. You take from him, and now we'll just keep it simple. You know, classic tunnel. Let's try to run a slider off the plate just to see if he bites. Haven't got to this point yet with a batter, so might as well try it. He did bite really hard, um, so now I'm going to bury a changeup. He's shown that he does not want to strike out looking here. Fouls it off. That's definitely unfortunate for us, and uh, we can't go up and in again, so we're going to go down and in. I, the reason I say you can't go up and in is because if he's ready to turn and burn like that, um, you get a you get punished a lot less if it's down than up because also what a play by Trey Turner. Silver defense, by the way. Um, in my experience, the timing windows and you know just hit results in general, you're going to have a better time down and in than up and in if you kind of have an inclination to think that your opponent is going to you know be able to turn on the pitch. So we kind of hedge our bet a little bit there. Nice play by Hannes. And 1-2-3 uh, for Pedro, who's really settled down, pitched a good game. Only given up, you know, two solo shots on pretty good pitches. So J-Rod's 2-for-2. Two two. We're sitting slider first pitch. And we were early. Dang it. But again, this guy, I don't know if he's rattled. Um, kind of mentally checking out. But uh, the sequences are getting more and more predictable as we move along throughout this game. So we'll see if he goes slider again. He did, man. Okay, I'm gonna sit fastball now. We'll see if he adjusts. Man, this is crazy, dude. <laughs> I mean, I really, the, the, the point of the series is not to bash on my opponents. I wanna make that very clear. This is, this is about me and my gameplay. Um, but man, he's making it really easy for me. Um, again, if, if he's this rattled where you know, he's kind of auto-piloting sequences, then he should A, maybe look to pause, take a two-minute break, try to get himself back in the game mentally, or just, you know, make a move to a different pitcher. Uh, going to your bullpen in this spot is kind of kind of tough to justify, though. Burning bullpen spots when the game, a lot of the time, is going to be a loss for you. You could might as well leave your starter in a lot of the time. I don't know how I missed that pitch, because I'm terrible. Uh, we'll see if he just stays away from the fastball this whole AB. So far, so good on that front. Keeping a slow bat still, I, I don't think he wants to throw a fastball. He did, wow. I should have just taken that. This might get down. LOL. <laughs> we'll stay at first. We could have went to second. This guy is tilted to the moon, so this has got to be a fastball now. Ooh. Okay. Second pitch fastball after first pitch slider. Let's see it. All right. I pulled it foul. So what happened last time? Last two times we pulled a four-seamer on the inside part foul. He went change up. So we're sitting change up. Ah, oh, curveball. Dang it. And we hit into a double play. <laughs> Rip, dude. We could have really pushed a mercy rule there with a better inning. That's okay. Uh, like I said, when he was pitching, you could definitely make the argument to leave DeGrom in here, but I guess if it was a one-game playoff or something and you really are just worried about winning, the right play is a pinch hit. But long-term, as far as leaderboard grinding, you got to really think about your bullpen energy in a spot like this. All right, don't know where he's at, so we'll bury a change. He's only just early on it, so again, we're going to go down and in, just in case he overcorrects and he's way early on the fastball. And look, beautiful. I have a sneaky suspicion. If I go up and in there both of those times, uh, it might have been a home run. So that's that's what I like to do. But uh, we are maybe getting a little bit predictable with our sequencing as well. So let's try to go more off-speed in two-strike counts, pitch a little bit more traditional. We've been starting him with a lot of off speed and then, you know, trying to. We've been pitching him backwards a lot. So let's try to mix it up. Keep it a little bit simpler. Try to vary a change. He really likes this pitch, so I want to throw it before two strikes just in case he's ready. Nice. And now let's try a front door slider. This is a really awkward pitch to hit if you're not looking for it. 
know if it's just flat stuff. Wow, good he swing, man. Lines. That was actually an incredible swing. And uh, gold defense Wade Boggs making it look easy over there. This guy's playing a good game, man. All things considered, he is taking several swings that could have gone, you know, differently. If we were having a more unlucky game, he could, you know, be pushing six, seven runs for sure. So, got to stay on top of him. Uh, pause. And then, uh, you know, try to push this mercy rule. Because, you know, if we... We hold him at two here, and then we score three. It's a guaranteed win, right? This is zero percent chance he can win if we mercy him. Sounds like a Yogi Berra quote. So that's our goal right now: try to get out of this inning and score three. Good fight here from Vlad, though. Uh, let's try a sinker down here, since he's had success. A couple of good swings on that loan and four seam. Yeah, nice. Got him to roll it over. Beautiful pitching, man. All right, let's go score three. We got Pedro up first, unfortunately, so it's like a two-out inning. But we are into the bullpen and the top of our order coming up. Wade Davis. Wow. This is a card I never see ever. Interesting. I hope he gets another prime card this year, man, a card higher than an 87. Dude was unhittable for a couple years on IRL. It was really fun to watch. I gotta be honest, when they uh, when the Royals traded uh, Wade Davis for Solaire, I thought it was a really bad trade for the Royals at the time. But uh, you could definitely make the argument long term that I know Solaire's not a Royal anymore, but maybe the Royals won that trade. Interesting to think about. Just fill in the air while we look like a fool with our pitcher at the plate. And Wade Davis is a pretty different pitcher than DeGrom. You know, he's gonna feature mostly sinker cutters, so. We'll see where our opponent's at with his sequencing and such. Nice cut. A little bit off of it. Dang it, man. Not the inning we want here, dude. That's right there. We got to be able to hit that. It's on us. Okay. Not doing anything with that pitch. See if he goes sinker here. Usually it's pretty typical. Yeah. People really like throwing sinkers after cutters and vice versa, especially with a guy like Wade Davis who, you know, there's not a lot of sequencing you can do. Now we'll sit cutter again since I took it last time. Oh, he threw it higher. All right, he hasn't made adjustments on his sequencing, so we'll sit sinker again. It was a ball. And now I don't have any info, so we're just hitting with our eyeballs. Sinker, okay. That's how you open up the outside part of the plate. Buried it. Nice pitch. We were able to take it. See if Schwarber can get his third bomb of the game here. Nice four seam. We're battling. Nice backdoor cutter, but uh, I've seen way too much of the legend version of that <laughs> to struggle with it on Hall of Fame, man. That's uh, That is one of the most popular pitches on Legend, actually, to get people looking is the backdoor cutter with a righty, arm side cutter. Uh, it works front door, too, if you have a righty up. Um, so that's really just a lot of reps. I've been seeing that pitch a lot at a much higher pitch speed, so obviously a mechanical home run there uh, that just comes with experience. So not really much to teach you guys on that one, unfortunately, uh, other than reps. So hopefully you guys have learned a bit from... I'm just going to sit sinker here and in the game. <sighs> Why is it a cutter? Should be a sinker now, though, if he stays to his script. All right, it's in the gap. I'm just going to try to score, man, try to get this game over with. There's a strong chance we're out at home, but we'll see what happens. Good throw, man. We still beat it, though. And GG, dude. I thought if he got a perfect throw there, which he did, I'd be out, but... And Vinny's got some wheels, apparently. His his 51 speed plays up. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Like I said, a, another gameplay that's, you know, maybe not at high a rating as some of you guys want to see, but I'm working on it. Um, and to be honest, that game was an absolute clinic at the plate. So uh, the title of this might be a little clickbaity, but uh, it's for good reason, man. I can't think of a better what would Brev do I've done this year as far as hitting and you know, everything that goes into making me the player that I am, hopefully you guys, you know, can take a lot of that information for yourself. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. Would really appreciate you leaving a like on the video. 
and subscribing to the channel if you're new. I'm trying to say that stuff less, but uh, this was a good one, so help a brother out, man. Uh, let me know what you think of Pedro down in the comments, actually. I'd, I want to know your guys' opinions on the card. And uh, with that being said, take care. We'll see you guys next time.